OK, proving root 2 is irrational is quite a well-known proof. And it is one of the examples of proof by contradiction. So the way that we start this proof is we assume that root 2 is rational. OK, so if we assume root 2, if I could write it first, there we are, root 2 is rational, then I could write root 2 as a fraction, where a and b are whole numbers. OK, so a and b are whole numbers. And we could make sure that A over B is in its simplest form, OK? So there are no cancellations left to be made. So A over B is in its simplest form. Now, the consequence of saying that means that A over B, or A and B rather, cannot both be even, OK? Because obviously, if they were both even, then I would be able to cancel the fraction down further than it already is, OK? So A and B, therefore, cannot be even, both even. So let's write that down. So therefore, A and B cannot both be even. OK, so if we've got root 2 is a over b, then what I could do is I could square both sides. OK, so I could say, right, then uh, 2 must be a squared over b squared. And then I could multiply both sides by the b squared. OK, and I could say 2b squared is equal to a squared. Well, if this is the case, if 2b squared is equal to a squared, that must mean that the a squared is even, because two lots of some number is equal to a squared. So a squared must be divisible by 2, and so a squared must be even. So therefore, a squared must be even. Now, if a, if a squared is even, OK, then if we're thinking about um, uh, 4, uh, 16, every single number, um, square number that is even, the square root of that must also be even. So that must mean that a must also be even. OK? So if a squared is even, a must be even. Now, if a is even, that means I can write it as a multiple of 2. So if I could then, if I say a must be even, then a is some multiple of 2. Let's say 2k. So if I pop that into there, that will give me 2b squared is equal to 2k squared. All right, so that means I can square that, can't I? So I can write that as 2b squared is 4k squared. And then I can divide both sides by 2. So b squared is 2k squared. Now, for precisely the same reason as this argument, I can now say, well, that means that b squared must be even because it's a multiple of 2. And if b squared is even, then b must be even. However, if A is even and B is even, then the original 
uh, equation that I wrote down cannot be right. Because I said that A over B was in its simplest form. So A and B could not both be even. But I've shown that if this is the case, then A and B must both be even. And so therein lies the contradiction. OK? So because A and B here have been shown to be even, that means that A over B was not in its simplest form. So A over B must not have been in its simplest form. And that is where we get the contradiction. OK, so we've got this contradiction from what? From our result here. So if this is true, that A over B was not in its simplest form, then that must mean that our original assumption must be false. So therefore, root 2 must be irrational, because we have shown that it isn't rational. OK? And that is the proof that root 2 is irrational.